kids! Today, we will learn about living and non-living things. So let's get started. Kids, a lot of things around us make our surroundings. Some of them are living and some of them are non-living. Like you, your friends, these plants, these trees, these birds are examples of living things. And your bags, your clothes, shoes, these buildings are examples of non-living things. Let's learn more about it. Living things are those that grow, that move, eat, breathe, excrete, reproduce, and react to the world around them. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. They have senses or sense organs. Reproduce means to produce young ones of its kind, like cats give birth to small kittens, dogs give birth to small puppies, humans give birth to small babies. Plants, too, reproduce the plants of their own kind, like seed of a mango tree will produce a mango tree. Seed of a rose flower plant will produce a new rose flower plant. Non-living things. Non-living things are those that do not grow, do not move, do not eat, do not reproduce, or have no senses. Non-living things can be natural or man-made. Natural non-living things are things that exist in nature and man has not made them, like stones, water, soil, mountain, river, clouds, rainbow. All these are non-living things. Books, pens, pencils, Houses, cars, pillars, lights, colors, clothes. All these things are man-made, non-living things. Living things. We all are living things. You, your friends, your mom, your pets are examples of living things. Even all the plants are living organisms. Now let's learn some characteristics of living things. All living organisms need food to obtain energy, to grow, and to stay healthy. You are a living thing. Do you have food? Yes, you have food, water, milk, and so many things. You can't stay healthy if you skip your food. All the animals, birds, do they have food? Yes, they all have food. We give food to our pets. Birds, too, eat food. And fish, too, eat food, none of them can stay healthy without food. Most of the living organisms can move like we can walk, run, and go anywhere. Our pets are living things. Can they move? Yes, they can move. Okay, are the plants living organisms? Yes. Plants are living organisms. Can they move? No, they can't move 
from one place to another, but they can move water inside them from one part to another, like they take in water from their roots and can move that water from roots to the top of the tree, to each and every leaf of the tree. Here's another example of movement in plants. In some flower plants, flowers move with the direction of the sun. Its flowers always face towards the sun. So all living things can move their body or can move things inside them. Like, plants can't move their body, but they can move things inside them. They can move water and minerals from one part of the plant to the other part of the plant. And some plants can move their body too, to some extent. Like sunflower, they move with the direction of the sun. Breathing or respiration. It's another important feature of all living things. Let's breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Yes, this is breathing. And all living things breathe. All animals take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide in the air. And plants. Plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Excretion. This is another important feature of all living things. Kids, our body can't use all the food we have or drink. So some part which is not used by our body, is excreted out in the form of urine and sweat. All living things need to remove waste from their bodies. Growth. All living things grow. Kids, you were very small babies. And now you are bigger. All living things grow. Your pets grow don't they? Yes, they grow bigger with time. Your plants grow bigger with time too. So every living thing grows. Sensitivity. Kids, do you feel cold when it snows outside? Yes, we feel cold when it's cold outside. And do you feel hot in the summers? When the sun shines bright? Yes, we feel hot. And if someone hits us, we feel hurt. So, this is sensitivity. All living things are sensitive to heat, cold, touch, light, and sound. Reproduction. All living things produce young ones of their own kind. Like, humans make babies. Cats produce kittens. Cows produce calves. And plants give seeds that grow into new plants. So kids, these are the features of living things. Now, let's learn about non-living things. Non-living things do not possess the characteristics of living things. That is, they cannot move. They do not breathe. They do not eat and they do not reproduce. Let's see some examples. Here is your pencil. Does it move on its own? No. Does it eat something? No. Does it drink? No. Does it breathe? No. Does it reproduce? That is, does it produce a new pencil? No. So your pencil is an example of a non-living thing. 
Now let's see some examples of non-living things that also have a few characteristics of living things. Like, vehicles can move. They need fuel for energy, but they are not living things as they cannot breathe. They cannot reproduce, so vehicles are non-living things. Now let's see, is a parrot a living thing? Can a parrot move? Yes, it can fly. Do parrots eat? Yes, parrot eats. Do parrots reproduce? Yes, parrots give birth to new young ones. So, parrots are living things. So kids, today we learned what are living and non-living things. And we learned characteristics of living and non-living things. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.